Hey guys, Dustin here, CEO of 630, and welcome to the Body Fit video for the Women's Body Ease. Today, we are going to custom fit the Body Ease to women heights 5 feet to 6 feet. We're going to make custom adjustments to the seat post and the stem to show you at home how this bike can custom fit your body. So, you can follow along, find the height that matches your measurements and it'll give you an idea of how you will need to custom adjust this bike to your body. We're gonna tell you their inseam and their arm length and the exact measurements of how high we raise the seat and how high we raise the stem. We're gonna start at five feet, follow along with us. Before we jump into showing you how we adjust our riders, I wanted to explain how we measure um, for arm length and inseam. So let me show you how we do this. So Cindy, if you could put your arm up and put it nice and straight. So we basically, basically from the top of the shoulder, we put the tape measure there and we measure to um, where the wrist basically connects to your hand, like the end of the wrist. We're gonna pop up an image right after this too, which we'll kind of show you. So in this case, we're gonna put it top of her shoulder, measure to the wrist, it's 21 inches. Now for the inseam, you're gonna stick the tape measure right inside your leg to the highest point of where your leg attaches to your body or your, your hip more or less or in your, uh, to your body. So if you want to stick the tape measure in there and then you measure down to the ankle. So she's going to hold that. I'm going to bring it down basically right to where your ankle pops out and that's 28 inches. So obviously it's not an exact science when you're measuring yourself, but being generally speaking within the ballpark, will be good enough for measuring for our types of bikes. We're starting out with Brenda at five feet tall, uh, 21 inch arm length and 25 inch inseam. So I already know Brenda's not gonna fit on the bike with the current setup. So the body ease comes with a suspension seat post. With that sus suspension seat post, the seat can't lower. It initially has to start at about three inches raised and that's to accommodate the suspension. So I'm gonna show you something in a second, but Brenda, if you could just try to hop on so we can show them what it looks like. Okay, so you can see, I mean, she can barely get her foot to the pedal even while sitting with the seat this high. So if you wanna hop off safely, so there's a way around this. So two things. One, you could just switch the seat post on this bike. If you do that, it's going to allow the seat to go all the way down. For the um, fact of simplicity, what I've done is actually taken a seat from the reacher destination with the seat post that's not suspension, and I'm going to show you how that works. So just pop out, pop out the seat. We're going to set that over here. And we're just gonna pop this seat in. And I'm gonna put it all the way down and lock that in place. Oops. So Brenda, if you could try that. Okay, there we go. Now if you could put your foot on the floor. Okay, so she's very, very up on her tippy toes. I would say if she's comfortable or if any rider five foot with a 25 inch inseam, 25 inch inseam is comfortable riding that high, that's up to them. I wouldn't personally recommend it. I think she's a little too much on her tippy toes. Can you put your foot on the pedal? Uh, move your foot back. There you go. From a leg bend perspective, it's not bad. So if you have an experienced rider who's comfortable balancing, um, this is okay with me. If you look at her arms, she's close enough. She's got her arms really relaxed. Sit back just a little bit. There you go. Sit, pull your shoulders back. There we go. So it keeps her back upright. It's an upright riding position. Everything works for her. The seat is just about a millimeter too high um, is my personal thought. Now, depending on your body type, your inseam, somebody that's five feet tall with a 25 and a half inch inseam, this would definitely work. Um, somebody with 25 inches or below, 
uh, if they have 25 inches, it's borderline. Below 25 inches at five feet tall, I would not recommend it. So with that said, um, other than that, the handlebars are moved down all the way. So again, if you're interested to have it customized, change the seat, change the seat post, reach out to us. We can do that for you and make it fit your body. Let's move up to our five foot one rider and see how it fits her. Now we have Maria with us. Maria is five foot one. She has a 19 inch arm length and 26 inch inseam. So we are going to have her try to sit on the body ease. And remember, it does have the suspension seat post, so we'll see if it works for her. So Maria, if you want to go ahead and try it, we'll see what happens. Okay, so you can tell, you can hop off. You can tell it's already too high for her. I'm not going to make her get on just to prove that it's too high. So two options you have if you're five foot one um, and you like the bodies and want to ride it. You can either change the entire seat and change the seat post with that seat, or you could change the seat post to a normal um, singular pillar metal seat post without the suspension, which is going to allow the seat to go down quite a bit further. So what I've done is I'm actually going to borrow a seat from the Reacher Destination, um, and it's using you know different saddle. Now you could swap the saddles if you want. You could just buy a different seat post or reach out to us and we could swap it before we send it to you. Um, but I just want to show you how when we change the seat post, we can actually make this bike fit Maria and make it really comfortable for her. So let's go ahead and just loosen the quick release, which is really easy. And go ahead and pop this in. Okay. And we'll just loosely tighten it. Okay, now go ahead and sit on that and give it a try. If you could put your foot on the pedal. There we go. Okay, so now you can see she has a good bend. Move your foot back just a little, right about there. Perfect. So that's actually a really great bend. Um, and it looks like a great fit. So she's 5'1". By switching the seat, the bodies is a definite fit. Now we can go ahead. How do the handlebars feel to you? We can, let's loosen these and just do some slight adjustments here. Okay, go ahead and put your hands on there and kind of just tilt it where you think it feels right. Okay. okay. There we go. And I, I'd like to just get her arms a little more relaxed, so I'm actually just going to bring the handlebars up just a touch. Just right about there. Okay, try that. Yeah, it makes it not quite as much extension. She's got a little bit of a bend now, nice and relaxed. And uh, it's a good fit. So, five foot one, 19 inch arm length, 26 inch inseam. It takes just a little bit of some customization to get it to work, but you can make it happen. Reach out to us and we can help you facilitate it. And we'll show you the measurements. So if you wanna hop off really quick, I'm just gonna show them. And that piece just pops down. So on the seat, we actually don't have the seat down all the way. We have it. We have the seat actually up an inch and a half from the top of the seat cuff. And on the handlebar stem, we have it raised up about an inch and three fourths. So. Let's move up to our five foot two rider and see how they fit on the body ease. We've got Desiree now at five foot two. Desiree has a 21 and a half inch arm length and 28 inch inseam. So on this bike with the suspension seat post, it's really a crapshoot how it'll fit riders five foot to five foot four because the suspension seat post has to be raised about three or four inches up. So we're gonna have Desiree Hop on, if it doesn't fit, I'm gonna show you what we can do to help customize for her. If you wanna hop on. Okay, so we can see she can't even get her foot to the pedal with the suspension seat post. So that's a no-go for her. So you wanna hop off. Okay, so what we can do is either 
change, just change the seat post on here, which will allow the seat to go down about three or four inches. Um, or you can change the entire setup. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to take the seat with the seat post from the Reacher destination, same as the Every Journey, and we're going to pop out the seat. And my thoughts are going to tell me that this will work for her, so let's not put it all the way down. Let's put it right about there. Okay, now try hopping on there. Okay, still a little too high actually. So if you want to just get off for a second, I'm just going to lower it down a touch. Okay, try that. Okay, perfect. So you can see by switching the seat post, we didn't have to switch the seat, but by switching the seat post, it allows it to go down. Now she's got her foot on the pad of, front pad of her foot. Can you put on the pedal for a second? <laughs> There we go. Good leg extension, not hyperextended, but good for the downstroke, so it looks really good to me. Um, in terms of the handlebars, though, let's raise these up a little bit to get her back just a little bit more relaxed. There we go. So again, I'm trying to adjust for comfort. So by raising it, I just took a lot more tension out of her arms. Her back is totally upright. Her wrists are nice and parallel. With this seat, this is actually a really great fit for Desiree. Um, now, Desiree has a little bit higher of an inseam at 28 inches than most women at 5 foot 2, um, but it's a great fit for her body. How's it feel? It's really comfortable. Yeah, looks good. Okay, if you want to hop off, I'll take some measurements. So we've got the stem raised up 4 inches. And we've got the seat post again with the with the non-suspension seat post raised up an inch and a half. So it is a fit for Desiree at 5'2 with a different setup. Let's move to our five foot three rider. Now we're here with Amanda. Amanda's five foot three. She has a 22 inch arm length and a 30 inch inseam. And we're gonna try her with a suspension seat post and see if it works. If not, we'll again make the adjustments and adjust the bike to her from there. So Amanda, if you want to step on, see if it works. Just be careful. Okay. So the only way under any circumstance this would work for her is if she's 100% comfortable balancing when she starts and stops. But under my professional recommendation, I would say no, and I'm not going to advise you to ride this bike like this. So <laughs> if you want to hop off, um, we're going to go through the same exercise that we did with Maria. We'll pop the seat off and we'll use a different seat. And again, your options in this circumstance are change the seat post um, or change the seat and the seat post. And even if you don't buy the seat post or talk to us about customization, you can buy a seat post like this at nearly every bike store across the U.S. Um, so... It's really, really, really an easy fix um, that you could even do at home yourself. Okay, go ahead and try that. Okay, cool. Still a little too high, so pop off. I'm just going to lower it down a little bit. Okay, try that. Okay, cool. Try putting your foot on the pedal for me. Okay, so she's got to move your foot back and put your, put it like, here, so put your foot here. Yeah, like right there. Okay, so we could maybe go up a little bit, um, but it looks pretty comfortable. How's it feel for you, okay? Oh, feels good. Okay. So now with her arms, um, it kind of depends on how relaxed or how stiff she likes them to be. For me, I think I'd raise them up a little bit for you, just get you in a little more comfortable position. So let's go ahead and do that. And remember, on the stem, there's an actual line that you cannot um, raise the stem above. There we go. So now it's got it right up to her arms, keeps them nice and relaxed. Um, the tilt of the handlebar looks good. How's it feel? Very comfortable. Cool. So it's a fit. Just need to switch the seat post. 
Um, in this case, we switched to seat, just easier for us right now. So if you want to hop off, go ahead and show them the measurements. So Amanda at five foot three, 22 inch arm length, 30 inch inseam. We have the stem raised up four and a half inches. And we have the seat with the standard seat post at two and a half inches. So, 5'3", it's a fit, different seat post. Let's move up to 5'4", and we'll show you how that rider fits. Now we're with Michelle at 5'4". She has a 21 inch arm length and 27 inch inseam. So, Michelle actually has shorter arms and shorter inseam than our 5'2 rider Desiree. So, I'm about 99% sure, even though she's taller, this is not gonna fit with the suspension seat post because the suspension seat post has to be raised up about three to four inches just to accommodate the spring in the seat post. So if Michelle, you could just try to hop on really quick, carefully, safely. Okay, so you can see she can't even get her foot to the pedal with this setup. So if you wanna hop off. So as we've done with our other riders, um, you know, shorter than her, We've taken the seat from the every journey or the reach your destination with a non-suspension seat post. So you don't have to change the seat. You could just change the seat post. If you're interested in doing that, reach out to us and we can customize for you. Um, and I'm going to show you now that we're going to be able to make this work for her. So just go ahead and pop this seat out. Drop this in. And I'm going to lower it down right about there. Okay, try that, Michelle. Okay, there we go. So, with the different seat and the seat post lowering, it's a definite fit for her. Now, let's see, on the handlebars, I'm going to try to tilt these up a little bit for her. There we go. I like that. Cool. So there we go. With, with the different seat, it looks really good actually. Her back is totally upright. She's really close to the handlebars, so it keeps her arms. They're extended, but they're not super hyper extended. Super hyper extended, that's right. So um, good and relaxed, nice bend. It's a good, comfortable ride. But again, at five foot four with her inseam and her arm, 21 inch arm and 27 inch inseam, we do have to switch the seat. So how does that feel? Much safer. Thank yeah. You. Okay, so you wanna hop off, we'll take some adjustments. Okay. So on the stem, we have it raised up four inches. And on the seat post, with the new seat and seat post, we have it in an inch and a quarter which if you've watched um, our other videos, Desiree at five foot two actually had the seat up at one and a half inches. So again, shows you how much the inseam plays a role. Let's move up to our five foot five rider. Now we have Jewel with us, Jewel's five five, 19 and a half inch arm length and 30 inch inseam. So. Hello, hello. Better? Okay. Better? Worse? Are you here? Better? Worse? Same? Hello? Is it? I wonder if when I put the metal by it? Yeah. All right. We good though? Okay. Now we're here with Jewel. Jewel's five foot five. She has a 19 and a half inch arm length and 30 inch inseam. Let's get her on and see if the suspension seat post will work for her. So if you go ahead and hop on. Okay, great. So Jewel actually is a fit with the suspension seat post, which is a, which is a good thing. Thumbs up. So Jewel at 5'5", five five, um, she can keep the suspension seat post, which is great. It's going to give her maximum comfort with the body ease. And on the arms, let's see. So she's... One more thing on the feet. You can see she's up kind of on the front balls of her feet, which is great. And if you put your foot on the pedal, yeah, and she has a good leg bend, so that's great. Her back is straight. 
In terms of the handlebar positioning, looks pretty good. They're almost up as high as they can go. Just to give her as much comfort as possible, I'm gonna raise it up as high as we can get it. Let me try it right about there. Go ahead and grab on. Cool, looks better. So there we have it. Jewel and uh, on the measurements on the seat, I won't even need to take that because you can see it's all the way down. So actually, if you want to hop off, I'll just measure the handlebar stem for them. So on the handlebars, we've got them pretty high up. We've got them raised up four inches. And then again, on the seat post, just all the way down for, how, for the suspension um, seat post. All right, let's move up to 5.6 and see what we need to do to adjust for that rider. Now we're here with Jessica, who's five foot six, 30 and a half inch inseam, 19 and a half inch arm length. And just as a precursor, so we, the reflector for this bike comes on the seat post. I've actually removed it now to allow for another half inch of adjustment down um, in case Jessica needs to do that so it'll fit her. So it's really, it's, it's safe to ride with a reflector if you're riding during the day. Um, at night, this is obviously essential. Now, if you want a reflector, you can always buy a reflector that would either mount to the back rack or um, we do have them on the tires. So this is not imperative. Um, again, so we've taken it off for the sake of sizing. So Jessica, if you could go ahead and step on. Okay, now you can see the distance that was created as a result of the reflector. We had to have the seat up a half inch. With that half inch, she's actually a little too high. She's on her tippy toes. So what we're gonna do is if you wanna hop off, I'm gonna lower it down. So you can see in this case, it's not gonna work for her with the reflector. Let me take this all the way down. Okay, so try that. Okay, beautiful. So now it's a perfect fit. So just a piece of advice, if you get your bike, the reflector is pre-installed in the seat post. Don't be discouraged if it doesn't fit. Just unscrew that reflector. You can lower the seat down more. And once you adjust, you can always put the reflector back on if you need to. Um, let me see your foot on the pedal. Perfect. She's got a nice leg bend. She'll be able to get good power on the downstroke. And then in terms of the handlebars, we have them up just about as high as they can go. Her arms are a little extended, but still pretty relaxed. Her back is upright. How's that feel for you? Um, looks like a good comfort riding position. So we've dialed it in. It's a good fit for her. If you want to hop off, I'll show them the measurements. So we've got the stem raised up four inches. And the seat post with the suspension seat post um, is down as low as it will go for Jessica at five foot six. So let's move up to our five foot seven female rider. Now we're with Lynette, who's five foot seven, 22 and a half inch arm length, 28 inch inseam. Lynette, if you want to hop on, let's take a look. Okay, cool. So it's a definite fit. And actually the current adjustment looks pretty good for her. She's got her heel up, heel up off the ground. She's got the front pad of her foot down. Can you put on the pedal for me? There we go. So, oh, oh you're there. There you go. Okay, move your foot back just a little. There we go. So she's got good leg bend, not super straight, but again, great for power. Um, it's great. And so on her arms, let's see. We've got the stem up all the way it can go. So I think I'm going to leave it there. You can see, um, now there's one option for a taller rider. If we have the seat up, there is an option to get an extended length stem. One thing we could do is bring the handlebars up just a touch which would get her arms a little bit more out in front of her body and relax them just a hair. But this looks pretty good. So she's got her back upright um, and her arms bent just a little bit. So how's it feel? Feels good. Cool. Okay, if you wanna hop off. And we'll take some measurements. So as I said, the stem, oh, the stem is raised up four inches. And on the seat, Again, it's, it's just all the way down, but I'll take the measurement. Basically, from the top, the top of the clamp, the cylinder part, it's raised up actually two and a half inches. 
I've said three to four inches. The exact measurement on the suspension seat, um, the minimum height is two and a half inches. All right, let's move up to our 5.8 rider. We're now with Sydney. Sydney's 5.8. She has a 21 inch arm length and 28 inch inseam. Uh, Sydney, if you want to hop on, we'll see if it fits. Okay, cool. So again, with the suspension seat post, um, there's a maximum that it can even go down, which is two and a half inches up. Um, and so she's got her feet too flat. So if you want to hop off, let's go ahead and raise it up for you. So based on where your feet was, let's try that. Okay, that looks great. So she's up on the front pad of her foot. That's exactly what we want. If you put your foot on the pedal for me, good leg extension, still enough bend, but on the downstroke, she'll be able to get good power. And then in terms of the handlebars, let's take a look. So again, as we get taller, they're going to get farther away from the handlebars. So you can see she's, uh, she's pretty upright. Um, I generally like to have the back a little bit more relaxed. So let's take a look here if I can tilt these closer. That actually does probably worse. Well, that's probably okay. Cool. Yes, yeah, so that looks really good for her. Um, her back's upright. Her arms aren't overextended. If she wanted to get her arms in an even more relaxed position to really get the elbows bent, we could do the extended stem and bring it up. Another option is to switch the handlebars. Um, you could switch it with the cruiser handlebar or the every journey handlebar and that would bring it closer to her body and really get her in a very very comfortable position um, but how does this feel feels good so this this works this is a good fit for her do you want to hop off i'll take some measurements so on the stem we have that raised up four inches and the seat posts we're going to measure from Basically, the bottom of the clamp here, it's raised up four and a half inches. So let's move up to our 5'9 rider. We're here with Sydney now. Sydney's 5'9. She has a 22 inch arm length, 31 inch inseam. Let's see what we need to do to adjust the body ease for her. If you want to hop on. Okay, so let me see your foot on the ground. So we could probably go a touch higher if we wanted to, but actually she's up pretty high on her toes, so I'm gonna stick with it. Let me see your foot on the pedal. Yeah, for a comfort position, that's really good. Um, and then for her arms, you can see she's, she's kind of reaching a little bit, so it may require just a little bit of a lean. So let's see, I think we've got these pretty close to as high as they'll go. Let me see if I can bring them up just a touch. Try that, it's a little better. There we go. So one thing you can do um, is you can get some extended length stems. So if you are a little bit taller um, and you could reach out to us, we can help you out. Now, it's not bad to have a little bit of lean on this type of bike. She's pretty straight up and down, but you can see um, to get her arms to the handlebar, she needs to just a little bit. So if you can get the extended length stems, you can bring the handlebars up which will bring your shoulders back just a touch. So that's one option. If that's something that interests you and you're about 5'8 and above, you can reach out to us um, and we could help get that set up for you. Or it's also something that can be bought at a local bike shop. Um, but again, I like this fit. It works for her, it's comfortable. Um, also for recreational riding, it's okay. How's it feel? Feels great. Cool. All right, if you wanna hop off, I'll take some measurements. So we've got the stem all the way up at four inches. And then I will measure from the, for this seat post, I'm gonna measure from um, basically the bottom of the seat clamp down. And we've got the seat raised four and three fourths inches. Now remember with the suspension seat post, there's a minimum. Sydney needs the, higher, the seat higher than the minimum anyways, so it's great for her. All right, so. Sydney, 22 inch arm length, 31 inch inseam. She's a fit on the body ease. Let's move up to our 510 rider. We're with Keely now. Keely's five foot 10. 
She has a 22 inch arm length and 29 and a half inch inseam. So Keely, if you could please step on. Okay. So yeah, she's got her feet a little bit too flat. If you could put your foot on the pedal for me. Okay. So we're a little too much bend. We're going to raise it up just a little bit for you. Okay, go ahead and try that. Yeah, I like that better. So she's up on the front of her pad or pad of her foot. If you put your foot on the pedal, there we go. Actually, it's yeah, it's not bad. I mean, we could lower it maybe a touch, but I'm okay with that. Um, she'll be able to get good good pedaling on the downstroke, good efficient pedaling. In terms of the handlebars, she's got a little bit. She's leaning forward, got her shoulders forward just a little bit. I mean, that's okay. Um, but obviously we want to try to get her as relaxed as possible on the body ease. So let me see if I can bring these up anymore. Now there is a line in terms of the max height and we actually have got it right there. So that's going to be as high as we can go. Okay, try that. So that's a little bit better. Um, Again, the taller, if we raise the seat, it's going to pull your body away. So what I would recommend to get her in a more relaxed position would be two things. Either change the stem to an extend the length stem or change the handlebar to a handlebar that's going to come into her body a little more. It's going to allow her to get her shoulders back and just relax all of her joints so her wrists won't be so bent, her elbows, things like that. Now, if you're riding more for exercise, this is a good position. If you're riding more to be comfortable, Making some of those changes to the extended stem or the handlebars will really improve the comfort. So if those are things you're interested in doing and you have similar height, inseam, and arm length to Keeley, um, please reach out to us and we can help facilitate it. So again, it's a fit, but there's customizations that would make it more comfortable. So if you want to hop off, we'll tell them the measurements. We've got the handlebars up four and a quarter inches and we have the seat post raised up five and a half inches okay so let's move up to our 511 rider we are with lucia now lucia is five foot eleven she has 23 inch arm length and 30 and a half inch inseam lucia please step on let's see what we need to do to adjust for your height okay so feet are a little, can you put your foot on the pedal for me? So a little too much bend in the leg. I want to get it a little straighter. So if you want to hop off. Okay, try that. Oh, it's a little too high. I'm going to bring it down just a touch. Sorry about that. Try that. Okay, perfect. So we've got her at a good leg um, leg adjustment. Can you put your foot on the pedal? So good bend, not too much bend. Um, now, the one thing, we have the stem all the way up. So this is the body ease. So in the body ease, we really want to adjust the bike to make it as comfortable as possible for her. So I can see already she's having to, to pull forward a little bit to get down to the handlebars. So what I'm going to say is I personally don't like the fit for her on this bike because if she's looking for comfort, there's uh, the every journey would be a much better option for her height. Now with the body ease, if she likes this frame and the seat at her height, what we can do is customize it. We could get her the extended length stem and we could potentially change the handlebar. So the extended length stem stem would bring the handlebars up and it would allow her shoulders to roll back a little bit and just keep her in a more relaxed position. Um, so I'm going to go and say that it's not a fit for her as it is now, but it can be a fit if customized. So with that said too, um, Lucia has 30 and a half inch inseam and 23 and a half inch arms. If you are about uh, her height and inseam and you have longer arms, it would probably be a better fit for you because you could more easily reach the handlebars um, and you wouldn't have to be as 
as uh, extended as she is, but I don't want to see the elbows as a hyper extended, especially when we're talking about um, the body ease, because we want all joints to not be so tense. So if you want to hop off, I'm still going to take the measurements because the seat is actually okay. What we just need to be adjusting for is the stem and the handlebars, and we can help you with that if you reach out to us. So we can still customize this. For the seat, we have it raised six and a quarter inches, um, and the stem is all the way up. But again, as I said, that's really not ideal. It's not good enough from my perspective. So we would need to change the extended stem. If you're interested and you're around Lucia's measurements, please reach out to us and we can help you. So let's move up to our six foot rider and see how the fit is for her. We are with our final rider today, Jade. Jade is six feet tall. 23 inch arm length and 32 inch inseam. Let's see if we can adjust the body ease to fit her. If you can hop on. Okay, cool. So feet are a little bit too flat, but we actually have a little bit more leeway on the seat. So if you wanna hop off for a second, I'm gonna try to raise the seat. There we go. Now all seat posts have a max height that can be, go ahead and try that. Cool, okay, that's a lot better. So she's got it up on the front of her foot. So for leg extension, this is really good for her. Can you put your foot on the pedal? Perfect, so not too much bend, but not too straight. Um, so it definitely works for her. Now, looking at the um, handlebars, we set our 5.11 rider, it wasn't a perfect fit. With Jade, it looks a little better to me because she has longer, well actually no, she has the same arms, but the reach isn't, it's a little bit different. Maybe she has a shorter torso or a longer torso. So she's actually a little bit closer to the handlebars than our 5'11 rider. So again, it's interesting. They actually have the same arm length, but possible different torso lengths. So her arms aren't quite as tense. Now, with that said, I would say it's a fit, but again, it's the body ease. So. I would like it to be more comfortable for her in that she's more relaxed. Her arms don't have to be quite so straight and leaning forward. So if we were to pick something out of the box, I'd recommend the every journey for her height over the body ease. Now, as I've said before in other videos, we can customize this and add an extended length stem. What that's going to do is bring the handlebars up and it's going to allow her, the, the bars to come closer to her arms and she'll be able to lean back just a little bit more and be more relaxed, less tension on the joints, things like that. So um, how does it feel for you? I feel good, yeah. Okay, so I mean, it's also personal preference, right? I'm just giving my opinion on what I think and what I try to adjust for when we're talking about comfort, but if a rider likes it, that's okay too. So if you're six feet tall, you have similar measurements to Jade at 23 inch arm length or 32 inch inseam, and you like this bike a lot, reach out to us. We can make sure it's a fit for you and also help customize elements to really dial in the comfort. Um, but let's go ahead and take the measurements so we can tell you what we have it adjusted to. So we have the seat pretty much at the max height here. I'm gonna measure from the, from the bottom of the clamp. So it's up eight and a half inches and the stem is maxed out at four and a quarter inches. So. Again, height isn't everything. Uh, Lucia, our 5'11 rider, I suggested it was not a fit. With Jade, it looks a little better. I think both um, would do even better, be more comfortable with some customizations. Thanks guys for watching the body fit video for the women's body ease bike. We've just custom adjusted and fitted this bike to women heights five foot to six foot. If you still have question about fit for your body, contact us by email, the team at 630.com, or you can reach us by phone, 310-982-2877. You can also go on our website and take the body fit quiz. It's gonna ask you some other questions about riding types, where you ride, how you like to ride, and it's gonna suggest a bike that's perfect for your body. So, thanks for riding, and as always, Enjoy the ride.